Hey guys, I'm Kate. Welcome back to my channel. And I suspect that I might have gotten something exciting in the mail recently. So we're gonna go on a little adventure to see what that might be. Unfortunately, the pepperoni cannot come with. But I'll be back. Pop. I'll be back. Let's go! So as a fan of NaNoWriMo, I often make my own version of the classic NaNoWriMo survival kit. I have made several videos about it over the years and I do it for Camp NaNoWriMo too. But this year, Kevin from Kevlandia reached out and he's doing a sort of like secret Santa for NaNoWriMo survival kits, which I think is so cool because it's like, I don't know, sometimes I need the motivation of other people to keep me motivated, especially around like day 10, 12, 13 time. That's just a rough time for me. So I think having someone else come coming up with and sending me a NaNoWriMo survival kit, I think I'll really lean on what they send me those days especially. And I think it's just gonna be so fun and I enjoyed putting it together for the person I got. So yes, we're gonna go pick it up. I'm gonna see how it is. We're really nearing NaNoWriMo now. Oh my gosh. And like usual, the podcast I am listening to is The Creative Pen. And also if you are doing your own narration, then you can step away. That's what I end up doing. If, like, if I can't get it in four goes, I step away. I also got a very nice letter that I wasn't expecting. Thank you, Jensen, from Singapore. I will be excited to read this more later. I am very excited. We're gonna play a game where I pretend like I don't know who this is from and y'all are going to find out at the end. <laughs> ah, where do I open from first? Depending on if you can see the examined by U.S. Customs and Border Protection. Oh, you might have an inkling. Oh, oh, okay. Oh my gosh. Ah! Okay, so editing Kate here. I just wanna say what you're about to witness. There's a lot of faces and <laughs> excited sounds. Um, don't judge me. I think you're gonna understand. I just wanted to forewarn you. Okay, I'm still not over this. Okay, I'm gonna take you back to it. Let's go. Okay, okay, okay. Look at ba, ba, ba. Oh my god. I feel like it's gonna be so obvious who it is, but I don't wanna, I'll keep the little notice of surprise if you can't guess. I didn't get a look at it. I might cry. Oh my, oh my god. It's so beautiful. <laughs> oh my God, there's stuff inside it. I can't. <laughs> okay, it's fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. Oh my God. I figure it's probably obvious who's made this um, because I happen to have gotten something else before from this person who um, knows of my love of Princess Bride. And also, Dragon, it's Becca, it's Becca. I won't leave you in suspense any longer. You all know. Surprise! I'm Becca, your secret nano elf, Santa, writer's assistant. I think writer's assistant. Hope you enjoy, can't wait. <laughs> okay, and then this letter said, an author tuber bag with Mickey in the castle. I changed the design a bit from the Princess Bride bag I made you. This one has a water bottle pocket on the side. <gasps> and can be used as either a bag or a backpack. I also made the laptop holder a little bit thicker for extra protection and the camera insert should fit just fine as well. Cannot handle Becca and all of her talent. And also she knows that I'm going to Disney. The first five days of NaNoWriMo, I will be in Disney Worlds. I just, oh my God, rainbow pins. <laughs> I got the ballpoint kind for writing as opposed to coloring because I know how you love to color code your notes. I do love color coding my notes. I just, Becca, I can't with you. Moonology Oracle cards. I know how much you love the moon, so I thought these cards would be perfect for you. From the picture, it looks like they have a daily message on each card as well as a booklet for full reading. Some moon inspiration for Dana. So, right. I just, okay, <laughs> I'll be back. <sighs> I've been trying to get more into Oracle and Tarot and the first cards I actually ever got were with 
Becca and Becca actually inspired me to get the cards because she'd used them a lot in all of her NaNoWriMo and Camp NaNoWriMo vlogs. So when we met up in person for the very first time when I was on my super mega solo road trip, we both got these cards. I do love, love the moon and there's a whole lot of meaning for me with the moon. Thank you, Becca. I feel like it's just, oh my gosh, the inside of this bag is amazing. And then post-it notes. I got the kind with the lines because it makes it easier to create lists. And let's face it, to-do lists are a staple for NaNoWriMo. Very, very, very true. And I had just run out of my own post-its. <laughs> this is just... I swear sometimes I feel like Becca's just in my mind. Oh my god! A bag for your pens or pencils. I made this full in crossbows because I thought it was perfect fit for both Project Death and the Meridian Maps. <sighs> Look here, Becca C. Smith. Oh my gosh, you guys. The insides of these bags. And it's a backpack. Hold on. <gasps> Ooh, oh my gosh. Okay, and you can put the straps like inside the bag so it fits easily. So if I wanted to carry it around or use it like this, <gasps> Becca. Oh my goodness. I feel like this is call for a demonstration. Let's do it. Essential for NaNoWriMo on the go, which I will be a lot of NaNoWriMo because y'all know my love of writing in coffee shops and also the aforementioned trip to Disney World is, of course, the laptop. In the laptop section. Then, of course, a random selection of rainbow pins, which I can now keep up with so much easier. <laughs> not gonna cry, I'm not gonna cry. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Oh my God, there's still so much room. Okay, I could have one of every color. Okay, it's fine. I'm good, it's fine. Into the bag you go. Also, some oracle cards for inspiration when I'm stuck, not only for my story, but also for like my day, my week, my life, an obstacle. Into the bag. I'm gonna put you in this pocket of the bag. Something to take notes on. We'll go in this section of the bag. I also have a water bottle with me. Ta-da! Oh my God, I could fit a really big one in there. Yes. And then of course, a current read. Into the bag as well. Now of course, this camera would go into the bag. I know from experience how wonderful it fits into these bags already. So I'm not gonna demonstrate it because I want to capture the pure joy when I put this on. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> it's amazing. Okay, a little bit tighter. Can't see what I'm doing. A little bit tighter on that side. Why is this so much easier than a normal backpack is? A little bit tighter on that side. <gasps> oh my God. Okay, hold on, wait. Oh, I can take it off. That's genius. Becca is so smart. Okay, I'm gonna use it as a backpack for right now. So I'm gonna keep hold of this, but I'm not gonna use it right now. And then, oh my God. <laughs> All of my dreams are coming true. <laughs> well, this is amazing. I'm actually gonna go show this off. Hold on. <laughs> Look at my backpack. Ha! Ah! <laughs> That's so cool! Right? <laughs> Becca made it. Oh my God, of I course. Know. I thought it looked like a Becca creation. <laughs> yeah, it is. Well, I just, <sighs> he's so pretty. I do now feel very prepared for NaNoWriMo. Thank you so much, Becca, for all of your very thoughtful gifts. And I will say again and again, how talented you are and how it amazes me every time. Thank you to Kevin for organizing this. I really appreciate it. And everyone, please do comment down below. Let me know what's in your NaNoWriMo survival kit. The only additions that I truly have are mugs and my cappuccino machine. That's it. Everything else, is just, it's, it's there. That's it. That is what I need in my NaNoWriMo survival kit. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. Look like a weirdo. Hello. Hey. <laughs> I mean.